This is Gary Schnitke, and this is a 5-Minute Farm Doc Daily dealing with our crop insurance decisions for 2020. The discovery period is over, and we do know our projected prices for both corn and soybeans. It's $3.88 for corn, which is below our $4 price for last year. So for corn policies, we will be getting a little bit less coverage for the same coverage level this year. Soybeans, the projected price is nine seventeen, and again, that's an average during the month of February. That's well below our nine fifty four price for last year. So for both corn and soybeans, the projected prices are lower. That will lower our premiums, but it will also lower our coverage. Overall, Premiums this year will be lower than last year because of lower projected prices, same volatilities, and RMA did lower our premiums. This year, we have, again, the crop insurance evaluator where we can look at choice between products that is available on our FarmDoc website in the crop insurance section. We will, if we look at those numbers, find that RP is a very good policy Most farmers use RP with some ARP used. RP at a very high coverage level, 85 to 80% for central and northern Illinois, 75 to 80% for southern Illinois have been well used and provide excellent risk protection. As we look at those policies, one of the things we do look at is the net cost. Here in my example, it's $24.51, which means that over time, RP at 85% should return $24. That includes some years in which we do get insurance payments, other years where we don't, some big payments like 2012, and a lot of times smaller payments. But over time, because of the subsidies involved, RP at 85% is, is scheduled to have a $24 payment. This happens to be for Logan County. So looking at those numbers, and you will find that RP at higher coverage levels typically have the lowest net cost or the most negative net cost. Again, RP at those high coverage levels seem to be a good alternative for most farmers. This year, we will have SCO available, Supplemental Coverage Option, and we will have that available If we select PLC, the same uh, decision that we'll be making by the March 16th deadline. If we take uh, PLC, SCO would be a good alternative. SCO will provide coverage from 86% down to the coverage level offered by the RP or combo product. So if we're taking 85% RP, we could get SCO from 86 to 85%. That pr- product will not have much cost. It's subsidized at a rate of 65%. So the cost of this would be like 20 to 30 cents per bush per acre, excuse me. And it, over time, it will return uh, like a, a dollar average over time. It's good for topping off our RP policy. We would be a bit skeptical of taking our RP policy and lowering it because of the existence of SCO. Two reasons for that. One is SCO provides county-level coverage from 86% down to the coverage level. So an ARP-like policy on top of an RP, so that generally does not provide us as good risk protection as does a a farm-level policy like RP. The other thing... Uh, that SCO will do if we lower our P coverage level is lower our prevent plant payment if they, that happens. Again, crop insurance decisions for 20, 2020 will be, changes will have to be done by March 16th. If you were with a RP coverage level at a fairly high coverage level last year, staying there seems like a good alternative.